spread a fucking news story that you know, all these divvies that be going around nicking dogs. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, for the this bloke in a park picked up his collie and basically said, if you try and get the dog back, we're going to stab you. But he's an amateur boxer. <laughs> 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 he basically said, his, his thing goes down, he'll leave me that, asked him about this one, he went, well, I basically punched one, which put him to the ground, but he still had a grip of me dog, so I went to wrestle her off him, and the other one grabbed me from behind, and uh, I thought to myself, I could probably run and get away, but that'd be going home without the dog, and I think the, I don't think the missus would be too happy about it, <laughs> so that wasn't an option, <laughs> so he went, so I left them both a bit worse for wear, and me and my dog left, <laughs> sound, sound mate. Look like a proper little lunatic and all tatted up to the eyeballs and massive shoulders. <laughs> Why would you try and rob his dog? <laughs> he's, to be fair, right, there's a picture of him, like which must have been pre-lockdown, where he's got like, a proper haircut and that. But he's just got like, on, on the like actual video with them, he's got like just a shaved head, which he's clearly just done himself. <sighs> so he just looked like a little fucking... I suppose if he was in a jacket that like, you wouldn't think much of him. But yeah. <laughs> Apparently he's been out with your box <laughs> And he's a pub landlord, so I'm gonna guess he's got uh, he deals with a fair share of dickheads there. Yeah. Sicky. Tell you what, like look on their faces must have been fucking class. Are you mate, try to get your dog back, would have stab you. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> Alright, that's not gonna plan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's <laughs> he said the other bloke jumped on him from the back and tried to wrestle with him. <laughs> so he laid him out and I was like, Alright, yeah, that's gone well, hasn't it? Them two both walk off afterwards. Yeah, mate, what went wrong? <laughs> yeah, next time we get the collie, we should just fucking run. <laughs> Can't go charring dogs, like. Some bloke put in the comments, I live a couple of miles from where this happened. It's rife round here. I take a wrench and a can of DP with me when I walk my girl. <laughs> what the fucking hell? <laughs> DP in their eyes. <laughs> And then a clout with a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I don't want to take his dog, mate. He's got you to lock him. <laughs> That's what we live there. You think you've been using the money for getting a hate dog and that, and all of a sudden you get a wrench on the edge of the car, and you come over your DP face in your eyes. Can you imagine, mate? How much an hour and all? How much an hour and all? How the fuck he gets his DP in your eyes? <laughs> All of a sudden the blow unzips his pocket, <laughs> pulls off a big fuck off wrench, and a can of fucking deep heat and chases you down the path. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine, right, if we walked up West Park and we seen some bloke chasing another bloke with a wrench in one of those really kind of deep in the world? <laughs> 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 oh, for fuck's sake. Where's he pulling the wrench from, man? <laughs> 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 <laughs>